Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Karen Dina, and today I'm going to cover a hot topic in the raw food community, spirulina and chlorella. What are they? People oftentimes ask me questions about these products. Are they plants? Are they animals? What are they exactly? To get a better understanding of what these products actually are, let's take a look at the kingdoms of life. Now, when I was a biology student years ago, on day one of my introductory biology class, we talked about the five kingdoms of life. And they're listed up here with their Latin names. The English translations are listed over here on this side of the slide. So what we have is the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the fungus or the fungi kingdom, the protist kingdom, and the bacteria kingdom. All living things on this planet are grouped into one of these five kingdoms. Let's take a look at spirulina first. Spirulina has been classified as a cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are single-celled organisms that have a chloroplast that give that bacteria kind of a bluish-green coloring. And that's one of the reasons why spirulina has been called a blue-green algae but it's not actually an algae, it's a type of bacteria. There are two species of spirulina that are available as products. Number one here is Arthrospira platensis. The second one here is Arthrospira maxima. These used to be known as spirulina platensis and spirulina maxima. Maybe you've heard of them by those names. So once again, two species of spirulina that you can find as products. Which kingdom of life do we find spirulina in? Given that it is a cyanobacteria, I would expect to see it in the bacteria kingdom. And it is. What about chlorella? Now there's many different species of chlorella and they all have been classified as green algae. Some species of algae are considered to be simpler than plants and chlorella is one of them. It's a very small algae. Because chlorella is such a small algae, there are some researchers that would like to have it be classified as a protist. So at this point, there is a little controversy as to whether or not chlorella is a plant or a protist. Now let's take a closer look at what a protist actually is. Is a protist an animal? No, it is not. As you can see, it is a separate kingdom of life than animals. Protists are multicellular, so they're not bacteria. Bacteria are made up of one cell. Protists are not as complex as plants, animals, or fungi. They have a simpler cellular organization than those three kingdoms, which is one of the reasons why they are their own separate kingdom. Generally, protists live in water, and some good examples would be algae, and chlorella is considered to be an algae. There's other microscopic organisms that we find in the protist classification, too. As far as chlorella classification goes, it's a work in progress at this time. However, what is clear is that chlorella is not an animal. It's either a plant or a protist. It has never been classified as an animal. It has been classified as a plant and it has been classified as a protist. What about krill? How does krill compare to chlorella? Krill has been classified as being in the animal kingdom. And the reason why is because it has a nervous system, it has a digestive system, it has eyes, and it has other things in common with animals. Krill is five centimeters long, so it is a small animal. How does that compare to chlorella and spirulina? Chlorella is 0.0005 centimeters in diameter. Spirulina is 0.0005 centimeters long. So as you can see, both spirulina and chlorella are much smaller than krill. Krill is considered to be an animal. In summary, spirulina as a cyanobacterium has been grouped in the bacteria kingdom. And chlorella, being an algae, has been grouped in the plant kingdom and the protist kingdom.
And what's absolutely clear is that neither spirulina nor chlorella have ever been classified as being in the animal kingdom. Thanks for watching. And for those of you interested in learning more about our educational opportunities or our lab work and nutrition consulting services, please visit our website at rawfoodeducation.com. And if you found this information to be useful, please like and subscribe.